Tell me what you have to go and drive me so crazy. I've been on a little bit of a scavenger hunt, searching all of the Dollar Trees in my local area, mainly for the miniature Barbies we saw at Toy Fair. For some reason, they are so difficult to find in my local area. But in all of my travels, I managed to find a few things. Okay, well, maybe more than just a few. I was pretty surprised to find these Ken fashion packs. They are usually around $5 at Walmart and Target, but the dollar store had a nice variety for a dollar each. So naturally, I bought five. If you want to start a miniature pizza restaurant, now is the time to stock up on uniforms. You get a top, black and white pants, and a pizza. The pizza has that little peg on the bottom that allows it to stick onto Barbie furniture. Since I got more than one pack, I got more than one pizza. We also found a golf set that comes with a golf club and a referee uniform with a whistle. We found these My Little Pony Best Gift Ever boxes from the holidays. I know it's out of season, but hey, it was a dollar. So let's see what's inside. Oh, it's like a pearly pony. We got a pony figure and a collector's guide that shows all of the ponies in this collection. It looks like they're all pearly types. On the other side, there is a picture of Flam with a little bit of information at the bottom. Personally, I like it when the ponies are colored true to their character, but that's just me. We found six different Littlest Pet Shop characters. These were at almost all of the dollar stores. Each one comes with a mini pet. They come in pastel colors. Only their eyes are painted. So if you like to customize pets, these might be a great canvas. I'm an 80s baby and I have a love for Care Bears. So these were a total must have for me. There are four to collect. They are made by Just Play. And on the back, you can see all of the different ones and their names. Here's Love A Lot Bear, Grumpy Bear, Sheer Bear, and Cheer Bear. Standing around two inches tall, these can totally be used as toys for dolls. Yeah, I'm gonna hang on to you. Speaking of toys for dolls, we finally found the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. On the back, you can see all four characters and their names. Raphael, Leonardo, Donatello, and Michelangelo. These are pretty small, and I think they'll be great action figures for our dolls. In fact, these little minifigures are my favorite things to find at the dollar store. Just found Muppet Babies. I don't watch the new show, but I love to see that they made a comeback. I grew up watching the Muppets, Kermit and Miss Piggy. Oh wait, they're just calling her Piggy now. But there was a Muppet Babies cartoon back in the 80s. It came out in 1984. We had Kermit, Miss Piggy, Animal, although he looked very different back then, Fozzie and Gonzo. Sorry, I couldn't find Gonzo. But we did find this new character, Summer. Aw, what a nice name. I think these will be great for like a doll nursery, preschool, or maybe just a doll who likes collecting Muppet Babies. Wonder Woman! Sorry, I had to pick this up because I love Wonder Woman. There were several DC characters available. They come on a little stand. It looks like she's standing on rocks. Is her star just painted on her head? I found a couple Toy Story 4 surprise minis. I remember looking for these at Target and Walmart. Oh no, not that guy. I wonder who this is. Yay! We made a Toy Story 4 doll room using these minifigures as toys. They look great on a little shelf. They also had these larger Toy Story 4 figures. We used a few of these in our doll preschool. Now we are adding Bo Peep. Each one is attached to a stand. They more closely resemble the characters from the movie and their proportions are pretty good for a 1-6 scale. These bring back memories. Hey Arnold 
and Ren and Stimpy. Ren and Stimpy was a gross cartoon when I was little, but I couldn't help it. I loved it. We found two characters from Disney Junior, Mickey. There are six to collect. I really wanted to find Pluto, but all I could find was one Mickey and one Donald. These can stand on their own. I like it when they don't need stands and they are a little under two and a half inches. Minnie has her own collection of minifigures. There are six to collect. We have Minnie, Cuckoo Loca, Minnie, Melody, Millie, and Minnie again. If you collect the Minnie Mouse fashion dolls, it would be so cute for her to have a Minnie Me. These would be a great giveaway at a party. The Incredibles. The Dollar Tree had the entire family, Jack-Jack, Dash, Violet, Elastigirl, and Mr. Incredible. They are not all on the same scale. Jack-Jack and Dash seem a little large for the family, and Mr. Incredible seems a little short. But if your doll collects the Incredibles, then they just might be perfect for your dollhouse. This is totally new to me. I've never seen unicorn dolls before. They're little blind bags and inside you will find a unicorn doll. She's actually kind of cute. Got a little bit of uh, Shopkins eyes going on there with a unicorn theme. I can dig it. She has wings in the back and can stand on her own. There are eight dolls to collect. On the back of each bag, you can see the dolls and their names. Looks like we have Violet. And there is a special rainbow doll. Let's open this up to see if we have the rainbow doll. And no, we don't. This is Jessie. Our next one is... Oh, she's cute. This is Megan. So far, no doubles. We're doing pretty good. And that would be our first double. Our last one is also a double. Okay, I spoke too soon. But our little custom Chelsea doesn't seem to mind the doubles. I'm gonna take them all home and love them forever. Sorry, I see toys and it just instantly becomes playtime. We found some fashion for a dollar. We have some long dresses. If I can get this package open. There we go. This dress has a sheer front. It does not continue into the back. It does have little silver stars, but some of the paint is kind of rubbing off. There's a little bow at the top. It does fit a Barbie, but the material is very stiff. We found a white dress, yellow dress, and pink. The Velcro is completely coming off in the back of this one, so I don't know about these dresses. We found five career doll outfits. What's pretty cool about these is that they come with some accessories. Those little black shoes look pretty cool. This one has a stethoscope, so it's in the medical profession. The outfit is all one piece, and it's made of a satin-like material. The neckline, shoulders, and bottom of the pants are not hemmed, so they've started to fray. On the plus side, the shoes do fit our Barbies. The stethoscope and the shoes are pretty decent. However, the uniform could use a little sprucing up. Here we have a waitress. The dress is hemmed at the top and bottom. There is a small apron sewn into the dress. She comes with a pan and a spatula that have little brackets so the dolls can hold it, and they're black. I really like that. And she has the same shoes. I'm kind of fond of the accessories in this set. We could definitely use more black cookware. If your doll is a singer, here is a sparkly pink dress with tulle, pink heels, and a microphone. On the stand, it's a little short for the doll, but the microphone is removable so the doll can hold it. This dress is hemmed at the top and bottom. I'm guessing this is a business look. It's a short black skirt attached to a white top. It comes with a purse and another pair of pink heels. The bottom of the skirt is hemmed. However, the shirt is not. Our last career outfit is for the military. 
She comes with black sunglasses, those black boots, and a one-piece camo outfit. We have raw edges around the neckline, the sleeves, and the bottom of the pants. Some of these definitely have some potential. Maybe we could just add to them to clean up those edges or perhaps take them apart and make patterns. But that's a project for another day. Totally random object to find at the dollar store, a pocket pop keychain. This is from Overwatch. I know absolutely nothing about Overwatch except for it's a video game. But I was like, a pop at the dollar store? Yeah! Now for what I actually went to the dollar store for. Barbies. Lots and lots of mini Barbies. We showed these career mini doll blind bags in our custom Toya and Bella video. These are pretty cool because they are the perfect size dolls for our dolls. They have painted details. You can even see the white in her eyes. This doll has red hair. She wears a blue hat, a vest, white shirt, and pants. Looks like she has on some white boots, and there is a yellow guitar on the side. If you like repainting tiny things, there is a lot of potential here. We could pretend that our custom dolls are customizing dolls. But do you see the scale? It's like perfect. Standing around one and three quarter inches, we have a new Barbie doll to add to our mini Barbie doll collection. There are eight dolls to collect, and today we're gonna try to complete our collection. I'm trying to see if I can figure out which one it is without opening it. I think this is the soccer player one, or the referee. I am totally wrong. It's the video game developer. Let's see what's inside this one. Oh, we didn't get this one last time. She's holding two drinks in her hands. I think they're smoothies. So maybe she works at a smoothie shop. So far, so good. No doubles. And <laughs> I should really stop saying that. <laughs> we have another video game developer. Before we go any further, we could really use a place to store our collection. This used to be our custom Violet's room. But since we already removed a lot of the furniture for our extreme makeover dollhouse edition, we're gonna repurpose this room. So we clear it out, remove the carpet, glue down scrapbook paper for a hardwood floor. Let's remove these shelves from the wall because they're too close together to display our mini dolls. Patch the wall. Let's remove the doorknob. Cover the door with pink paper. Glue on a button for a knob. I'm gonna use the packaging from a doll box. Remove the mirror. Glue the packaging to the wall where the mirror was. Glue strips of foam board around it to make a window. Glue strips of foam board onto the walls to make shelves to hold our mini Barbies. We can put a little poster putty on their feet to help them stay put on the shelf. Now we can get back to building our miniature Barbie collection. I am hoping to fill all of the shelves, which means we're gonna need a few doubles. But I would like to complete the entire collection. Okay, the soccer player. We've got this one before, but it's our first time seeing it today. We found four of the eight so far, so we're halfway through the collection. And here's another guitar player. We're gonna go a little faster now. Okay, another guitar player. And another video game developer. A little variety would be nice. <laughs> another video game developer. We need the little hairdresser lady. No, another guitar player. This has gotta be a record. Come on, come on, hairdresser. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Hairdresser, 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 no! Ah, I'm going to scream. Okay, let's just let's just do this really fast. Guitar player, seriously. I only have two more left. Video game developer. Oh my goodness. And <laughs> even when combined with the dolls from our previous video, I still don't have a complete collection. We are missing the hairdresser. 
but we did fill all of the shelves. If blind bags aren't your thing, then you should check out the individually packed mini dolls. This is the size we saw at Toy Fair. They are also career Barbies. We found the astronaut, soccer player, and baseball Barbie at the dollar store. These Barbies come on a stand and they are about two and three quarter inches. They have pretty nice details and are a good replica of the full-size Barbies. You can see the picture of the Barbie they represent on the packaging. They are a lot larger than the Barbies from the surprise bags. But it is definitely a plus that you can see what you're getting. There are more Barbies in this collection. I was able to find some at Marshall's. I know this is not from the dollar store, but I really wanted these Barbies. This is the Collector 5-pack. It was $5.99. In addition to the ones we already have, we also got the Pop Star and a Ballerina. The Pop Star comes with a microphone on a stand, and the Ballerina is in a very beautiful pose. There is a Baker, and that's the last one we need to complete our collection. We have an empty wall here, so let's bring back violet shelves. This time we're gonna space them out a little so we can display our larger dolls. Carefully cut the Barbie logo off of packaging, glue it onto the wall to make a miniature Barbie collector's room for our dolls. This is the perfect place for the pink couch we found on Amazon. Couldn't you just see our mini Toya vlogging in this room? With her dollar store Barbie collection. But our collection is not complete. I really want that baker. So the search continues. Thank you for joining us for this massive dollar store haul. We found a lot of different things and built a nice size miniature Barbie collection. Like comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at MyFroggyStuff and the Frog Vlog. And we will see you next time.